Hi, uh, welcome back to the channel again. Uh, there is an issue here. Uh, so uh, I've passed 100 uh, subscribers and I'm quite happy about it. But uh, I kept having to look at the website uh, every time of uh, YouTube to, to see what how many people are there on, uh, on, uh, in the channel, how many people have subscribed, how many times they saw my uh, videos and I would like to automate this. So I looked at the API uh, that uh, YouTube uh, or Google provides for that um, and I just want to write a small script in Perl to fetch the data and then uh, do, with, do, that, do something with that. The first thing uh, I'll do is I download um, uh, the strawberry Perl uh, as usual. So I go to the website padre.perlide.org, uh, click on the download link and there I get uh, the Padre on strawberry Perl package that has both Strawberry Pearl, uh, Pyro the IDE, and some other stuff there. Once I installed, I run it um, Strawberry Pearl, uh, Padre, and I'll have the editor already. That's great. Now, obviously, that's not enough. Uh, I'll have to start writing a sub some Perl script. Um, I have some Perl 5 script. Uh, because I prefer to write some modern Perl, I type in, change the, the version number. No, that's 20 is a bit too much, but uh, I'll, I'll start with Perl 510, um, and uh, I saved the script uh, just for, uh, let's say, call it YouTube, YouTube.pl. Now that, that that doesn't do anything yet. Uh, we have to need we need some kind of uh, code to get there to get to the YouTube uh, channel. Uh, the way to do that is um, obviously not to write my own uh, access to the API, but to go to uh, a search engine of cpan so i'll go to metacpan.org which is a new uh, search engine actually it's as you can see it's it's uh, it says beta uh, though i think we, they could get rid of that beta they are not google so they, they can't can run a service without being better for like five years uh, but they look like anyway so this is a search engine for cpan where we all have all the the modules uh, that are worth using for Perl. Um, and we are we try to access YouTube, so I type in YouTube, um, and it will give me various results. Uh, so I don't know what's the text live door. It probably is irrelevant for me. Uh, there is a web service YouTube that sounds interesting. Uh, um, so let's see what does that do. Um, I clicked on that one. Um, it says, uh, oh, it's, uh, it, this model supports only legacy API. Well, that's not what we want. So let's go back and look further. Um, let's see this one. This is quite pretty old. Uh, let's see this one. Well, this is, this is quite new. Well, let's see what, th what does this do. So it says web service, GData, YouTube. Um, that's the API version 2, that sounds okay. Um, developer release, API may change. That, that sounds good, that sounds good. I like code that actually tells that uh, I can write it, uh, uh, use it, and then it will break. Uh, so let's download and install it. So the way we can do it is uh, take uh, the name of the module, then we go to the start menu, and uh, strawberry pearl tools and then there is the cpan client uh, which is not working oh because i already have one so i already have one open here uh, what you need to do is install install and then copy paste the name of the module and once you run this uh, press enter it will download the module and install it um, Actually, uh, mine is already uh, installed, but I scroll up, then you will see it's running. It's running the tests uh, and uh, the unit test of the module, and it, they get installed. So once it's installed, I quit this, so I won't get the, this problem next time that it doesn't start. And let's start to write the code. Um, what I can see here, I go to the synopsis and I st uh, just make some copy paste here. So I'll lo load this, sorry, I'll load uh, the module itself to memory. Um, I need to create an object uh, like this. Um, actually, this is using the, the what's called the indirect uh, method call. 
that's not really the recommended way to use it. So instead of putting the new keyword here, which is not really a keyword, it's a method call, I put it uh, this way. I, I think it's better. Uh, so I created the, the object uh, $yt, which is this YouTube object. And then uh, top rated videos, that's not interesting for me. What I would like to know to get, let's see, uh, get user. Uh, get user profile here. So probably this is what I need. Get user profile. So I just type in yt get user profile and then it says uh, optionally I can give the name of the user or I have to be logged in. Now I won't be logged in so I just type here in the username I have on YouTube and uh, that will return me the profile in this uh, variable hopefully and then it will return uh, this user profile instance so let's see what's in there um, it has um, information about about me for example so let's see so let's say be about me uh, and let's run this now so I press F5 to run this code and it uh, it says international code trainer and speaker and that's yeah that's good so that's my um, about whatever it's called uh, in YouTube terms uh, so great that's working that's good uh, but it will change you know uh, and then uh, let's see what else can I get um, statistics so probably I need uh, the statistics uh, so let's put it here um, let's create an object called s which is uh, the uh, how does it do it so I get the profile from the profile I get the statistics so from the profile statistics right this is how it's spelled yeah and then from there I can print out uh, from the statistics I can see the view count for example view count uh, and uh, let's run this again this goes to to YouTube and checks the data and that's the view count and it's probably right uh, that's the total number of of uh, views of the channel uh, subscriber count okay so well, maybe it's better if I copy paste so I won't make too many typos so this is the subscriber count and then uh, video watch count and this is I don't know why there is a space here but uh, let's see video watch count that's probably the total count of how many times or any of my videos have been uh, uh, seen or watched or whatever I press F5 and uh, no that gives me zero that's not probably not right uh, but the hundred is good so there are hundred subscribers so total upload views oh that might be the right one except that it has spaces here I don't know if it's the display incorrect here uh, of the data or of the code or actually there is a typo in the documentation so no I copy pasted it and it has the underscores there so it must be the display so if I and I don't need this video watch count which I don't know what's that what's zero for me and here we are yeah it's almost 20,000 we need a couple of more people and then it's gonna be over that number so okay so now I have all this uh, data and uh, what shall I do with this so let's say let's say I send uh, myself an email okay so uh, let's send an email um, how do I do that so I go back to this uh, place and uh, so I don't want to send it to Gmail so I type in Gmail to, to search for uh, a module that will help me with the Gmail I, I'm update that's not what I want checker no uh, Gmail SMTP Gmail that sounds good okay so let's uh, copy paste this one well no I, I have to install it but I already did it so you have to install it only 
that's your issue. Anyway, uh, so I clicked on the on the link and I got. Oh, this is the guy who wrote it. I don't know if. Uh, yeah. Anyway, um, so here is the synopsis how I need to use it. So I use the module to load to memory, then connect to the server with login and password, and then well, I just send the email. So let's copy paste this one. Uh, yeah, here. Uh, and then I need well the the address is is Gmail yeah the login I'm going to use this login address Gabor five two nine and then uh, a password well this is the password that only Google Google and me we only to be who else know uh, and then I'm going to send to myself so it's uh, Gmail and it's Gabor529 so the subject is a YouTube update uh, verbos, ok let's be verbos and the text so the text should be uh, let's put a variable called text here and then an attachment, well we don't have an attachment here yet so let's comment this out and uh, so what's the text? the text should be declared here and this is going to be the text of the uh, of my um, email so I write here a here document and then I say let's see view count actually it's not really good if, uh, a here document right now so let's put it uh, like this and then say text uh, sorry, that's not correct. Text add view count, view count, and then I concatenate the view count here, and then and concatenate a new line, right? And also the same with the other variables. So I put here. Um, what is uh, what else? Subscribers. I put here. This is the subscriber count. And what else do I need to add? I want to do the last one. So the last one is. Well, this needs to be in a string. Uh, the last one is the views or total views. Total total views and I get what is it called total upload views so yeah that's the text hopefully and then uh, this is not needed anymore so that's hopefully will send me an email now let's run this F5 and it says uh, for some reason it says attachment successfully verified even though I don't have an attachment and the mail sent okay so let's switch over to my Gmail inbox and here we are I just got the email from myself about the fact that I have 100 subscribers so that's great I think and uh, I could just uh, add a cron job for this or a scheduler on Windows and then have it run every five minutes let's say to make sure that uh, my the numbers are growing or once a day if I'm not that crazy uh, anyway uh, I hope that now I'm going to have a lot more subscribers so just go ahead and uh, subscribe to my channel and let any, anyone else to know that they should view the uh, screencast bye bye